Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 36. I am Ryan, the GM. Uh, it's a 20, sorry, the 31st of January 2020. Uh, here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Lord Ava Greenwood, the human sorcerer. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Crumbar, the half orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. And hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. And what do you remember from last time? Frickin' rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> um, quite a lot happened last time, actually. Um, there was a uh, Kitty's Adventures in that guy's bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, how can I forget that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that happened. Um, we had that mad wee feast with the guy. Basically, that we known was. Fucking legend. Bang. What is his name? Mm. Yeah. Or was it? Yeah, indeed. That's what it was that day. Put it that way. Aye. <laughs> Couldn't he get you to say I am Batman, you know? <laughs> We've already had him say that before really, the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to get it out of your system yeah. before the game started. <laughs> I wanted him to say war never changes, but, you know, we all put in our requests. <laughs> Oh dear. Also, that was was it the trailer voice we discussed briefly as well? Yes. <laughs> but anyway, so what else do you remember from last time? So we had the awesome gnome, and there was definitely more that happened. Um. Obviously, there was uh, the kind of conversation with the mm-hmm. women from the uh, Wizard King's army. Yeah, the Crusader Knight. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, she was pretty cool. I'll be, be it. You know, working for the enemy, as Callum was putting it. Yeah. The lady with the belly button armor. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's one safe belly button. Yeah. Definitely. She was, um... I don't want to say formidable, but she was definitely, um... Capable, I think that's maybe the word I was looking for. Formidable. <laughs> Formidable. Formidable. <laughs> <laughs> You're randomly French now, yes? This is back to the Frenchman's hut. Oh dear. Ah, uh, Frenchman. <laughs> okay, Scott. So, um, yeah. Anything else? Um. Was there anything else? Hey, he's wrapped up a fight, he's then chatted about the location you were in, everybody was a wee bit mysterious with everybody, you kept yourselves to yourselves, they kept themselves to themselves, the trio that it was. Um, you sent some birds after them. Oh yeah! Uh, and then Man, s- we do a lot of things. <laughs> Fighting fights, birds, so many things. And then you had Arya snap the bracelet. And then there was the big... And then rainbows. And then rainbow. <laughs> Across the sky, landing and revealing the wonderful Gistoria. Because who doesn't love Princess Gistoria, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty baller. Yeah. Um, but on that note then, goals? I think mine might actually get done today. Also, Scott, have you actually deleted what was in that box? What box? The box you're currently in on the spreadsheet. What I'm in a box in the spreadsheet? Yeah. <laughs> you should control Z that box for me if you can. <laughs> You've moved to a different box now. <laughs> oh, have I? Oh, God. Um, control Z <clears throat> probably still work. What box is that in? Just oh. do control Z. Yeah, nothing's happening. I'll ah, click okay. the button. Nope. See the one we're all in? <laughs> Yep. Go there. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Why? Right, what was there? Can I control? It? There we go. I can just bring it back as a master control. It's just a title goal, I guess. That was all. But yeah, let's talk about goals. So, Katie, you said you you think yours will be up. Yeah. Because so yeah, we have that. just summoned her, so. Yeah, and let's figure out how to close hellholes and portals without Gistoria. Okay. 
Uh, I feel happy to leave that as is. Good, good. And mm. Eric, work out who Decana is slash was. Keeping changing. Uh, um. uh, keep it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Arya seems like she's happy with her current goal. And I was going to say, Arya's goal, even though she's uh, narratively absent today, will I still be able to help her with it? No. No. No, because she's it. not pursuing it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll keep it as is for now. Like, for example, if your goal was buy a hammer and then Arya bought a hammer, your goal doesn't get complete. Aww. Even if she hands you the hammer. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. If it was acquire a new hammer through some method and then she bought you a hammer. Can you see how it's a bit different? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But also buying a hammer isn't a goal worthy, really. Okay. Uh, yours is find out information about the Red Road Man. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Cool. And Stu, I feel like it's at this point I don't need to ask the question, but I'm going to ask just yeah, for the sake of a little bit. Yeah, yeah, happy, okay. happy as is, get brought yeah. to GGW a bit. Cool. Yep, cool. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, the goals were easy. Let's uh, jump into the game then. So, Rainbow, Justoria, it's so nice to see you all. Boom. Going to the hellhole to close. Yay! <laughs> you sound way too happy. <laughs> um, Watches uh, intently, gets a notebook out and starts taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just kind of go towards her and be like, it's, it's good to see you well, just Doria. She just she smiles warmly back at you and she, she says, it is good to be well again. I just know it's. And she just uh, she kind of turns on the spot and kind of looks back at the big inferno. Mm -hmm. uh, we can say, as you can see, we um, need your assistance again. She kind of like looks around at the. Just I guess like the ruin that this place is, right? Because obviously it's seen a fair bit of battle, and the land's quite scarred because of that. And she says, Can you tell me what happened here? Oh, we haven't tied it mm. up in ages, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there was this bag, right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, as well, it's entirely up to you guys if oh, you are wanting to be swift about this particular part because keep in mind you're worry from last session was that the rainbow might attract the army back yeah mm -hmm. right, just uh, tell yeah the flaming demons fighting uh wizard king's uh, dudes they helped the wizard king's dudes did they seem invested in this location and she looks straight at your reach Hard to tell. They didn't hang about afterwards. They just left straight away. Uh, more well after a meal, so they didn't seem overly invested in this location. Perhaps just coincidence they were here. They were on their way to help uh, uh, the Great Gold Worms, uh, second in charge. And she kind of like you can see her like think for like a split second, and then she just looks and goes. And are you and your... And she looks over at Crumbar. Not needed there? We we would like to go there, but obviously we'd like this dealt with first. Yes. And then she kind of like... As in, no. yeah, she, she's clearly like <laughs> thinking, obviously, to herself. Um, like, you know, the Royal Army being here maybe changes things a bit, you know? Mm -hmm. And she says, have you made any progress in your investigation regarding... And she just waves over her shoulder at the big fire. Yes, it's quite hot. Huh? <laughs> um, not, not really. 
Red robed guy with interesting eye makeup seems to have something to do with it, but other than that, we don't know much else. Yes. Have you mentioned him to her before? I don't think I'm sure we I'm sure we have. That's the thing I was trying to think. No. Like, I actually don't think he's have. No, because we met him after we left your story. <laughs> oh, did we? Okay, yeah, okay. Um I'll kind of put in here then. Um, yeah, because I think what happened was you. Yes, yeah, yeah you, we left the story and then you came, came here. here down the southwest. Yeah, yeah like because yeah. you, mm-hmm. you just went back to Horizon, thought about horses, hammered your way <laughs> here, and then he wasn't in the abyss, was he? No, because that'd be the only place we were before. Yeah, he was. Yeah. I mean, the red robe guy wasn't in the yeah, abyss. He was. He, was. he opened. Uh, we did the, him. He opened the. That's portal. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that asked, um, like Lord Janus, if he could leave. As well, because obviously, you know, teleporting magic doesn't work there. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. yeah, I'll ah. just say that then. Um, when we arrived here, there was um, a man in a red robe, in red robes, performing some ritual. Um, I'm unsure uh, which summoned. <sighs> what? <clears throat> How would you best describe what that thing was? Some demon? I love the how to describe it. Some demon. Yeah. Uh, Mothman. <laughs> some demon that then uh, flew off. Um, we tried to attack him, but he just did a teleport. Um, we met him again when we were... Uh, we're up north to uh, investigate that orc tribe. Um, Which orc um, tribe is this? I just kind of paused. It was mine. An ex orc tribe, orc tribe technically, but yeah. <laughs> and he's the chieftain. Mm-hmm. I just say that. Yeah. Why were your people up north? And so when she says that, I'll just. Like kind of, like jump on it. Is about they weren't they are not my people anymore. She kind of has a kind of brief look of confusion, and then she kind of like dismisses it because she kind of reads the fact that you're clearly not really up for a conversation about that. Um, <laughs> and she says, "Yes, is there anything else I should be aware of since we last spoke?" A mothman came out of the portal and then flew away. And she kind of gestures over her in this portal? Yes. And when was this? Was this recently? No. Like, after we left you? How long ago was that? Like a week? Two weeks? Uh, it was like, probably a month ago. Yeah, I was going to say, probably a month might be a, about a month. It's probably five weeks, actually, because it was... Um, remember, you travelled up from Glitterhagen on the horses? And then oh, yeah. It took ages to get back. So, yeah, it's probably been about four or five weeks. It's been probably four to five weeks, maybe. And do we know its intentions? No, he just flew away. He's serving uh, the King of Hell. And what have you learned of this King of Hell? Sadly, nothing. But that red robe man also served him. Interesting. Can you describe this red robe man in any de- any symbology at all that you can think of I don't know what that word means and not just crumbar I mean I don't know what it means <laughs> um, I mean do you think crumbar would know what the word means well, I can't even, uh, Scott doesn't know what the word means so crumbar definitely doesn't I'd, I'd like to think I have a higher intelligence the, than crumbar the band with the panda eyes a bit like that yes uh, Kiss. That's <laughs> any, any kiss, like <laughs> probably red instead of black and white. Um, so symbology, Scott, would be like if you looked at a Nazi and saw a 
a swastika, you'd be like, oh, it's a Nazi because of the swastika. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. So, um, or have you seen a Christian please. with a crucifix? You'd be like, oh, it's a Christian because of mm -hmm. the crucifix. Um, I blah blah blah. blah. Um, yes. Of course I, you are. <laughs> I I don't really think there was anything about him. Like, uh, I mean, if you want, you just could all roll. I don't know, perception or some shit to like try and have. It's a mix between perception and history, right? So it's a mix between the two, but really it's yeah. perception, because it would have been at the time. Uh, so I mean, what? I know nothing. I know <laughs> eight. <laughs> Reaches <laughs> John Snow. Um, Scott, do you want to roll again? Because you definitely were up in this guy's face a lot. So. Oh. Also, you rolled persuasion that time. Stop trying to like lie to me. Oh shit! <laughs> You're good at lying, though. <laughs> oh, come on, Scott. A lot better than you are at scene. <laughs> yeah. So between uh, Kitleth and Eric. Um, you can describe some of the kind of attire uh, the red robe man was wearing um, probably because you both stayed back and you know tried to snipe the guy um, I mean could we, would, would the fact that he um, you know did a resurrection -y necromancy thing became like a lich was it, would it be a lich like thing be a part of that I don't know. Depends. What do you think Crumbar knows about that type of magic? Um, the human necromancy is not common in this world at all. Yeah. Um, I don't prob. I probably wouldn't know much about it then. Um, Kitty and uh, Eric, you can both roll history and Kitty can do it with advantage. Oh yeah. Yes. Cool. <laughs> and from that, Kitty, the the question just Doria poses to you maybe makes you start to click a couple of links together in your brain where you're like, wait a minute. That guy had this symbol on a necklace and on a robe. Mm. And on a bangle, or wherever, right? Narratively. Yeah. And <clears throat> given the colour scheme, and his face, and all these other <laughs> things. Huh. Uh, so you put together a connection to one of mm. the five. Oh. Okay. The five being the five evil dragons. Can yeah. you guess which one it will be? Hint, it's not the green one. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the, the fact that the fact that he was uh, helping out an art tribe that you know followed the red dragon. Um, so why don't we have Kitleth mention this, and then Crumbar could maybe then chime in with some Crumbar-based information? Because that'd be a good. Crumbar-based information. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I felt like that needed to be in. <laughs> yeah, I feel I feel like that needed to be in song. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, the fact that the, the guy's serving... Oh, no. Oh, I was totally paying attention. My brain just absolutely doesn't want to put it into the right form. So, it's okay. We'll rewind oh. slightly, right? So... This never happens. You, uh, <laughs> you know, she asks about symbology. She goes, is there any obvious symbology? We can go on to try and identify this man. And then you think to yourself, wait a minute. That's the five symbol. Specifically, the reds. Huh. Yeah. And obviously the red robes then scream at you going, Why didn't you notice us? <laughs> and we it, are fabulous. And that happens to Kitty like in a flash. So Yeah, so it, he had the symbol of the five and he's obviously in red robes, so he's gonna be the red one. Guys, this isn't good. And then uh I think when uh Kitty said the red one, I'll just chime in and be like, hmm. My former tribe. Did they worship it? What does it say? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, worship the 
engine of destruction. Like, just already just looks like she's seen a ghost. And, um, mm -hmm. She says, This is rather concerning. The, the red becoming involved in the abyss. Do we think he has a hand in... She kind of gestures vaguely to everything. <laughs> 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 Just, uh, it would definitely seem that way. Then it could... Could mean my father has nothing to do with these. She waves again her hand over her shoulder at the big hellhole. Especially if he's sending his men to investigate. That would make sense. Assuming they weren't here by coincidence. Which I doubt. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, is it direct reasons? Um, I'm trying to remember what the other ones were. Obviously, some of them went south. What were the other ones going north for? Oh, they were heading back to Omen. They were heading back to what, sorry? Omen, the capital. Mm. Um, well, the, there were the the group that we met split off into two groups. As one, as I've said, one went uh, south to the uh, Golden Order, but the other ones went off to Omen. I'm wondering if they just passed this place in their travels. It makes me ask the question, what were they doing out here if not for this? Hmm. You're clearly what, smarter than us. Yeah. Just roll my eyes like... She, she kind of just smiles in that kind of oh you kind of way. <laughs> um, she's, not, she's not above flattery, right? And then she, um, she says, I wish it were so. However, my father could be playing us all. He may have sent them here even without them realising that they're his pawn. I'll just say as well, um, portals or not, your father still took Eremos, and for that I don't trust him. You would be right not to trust him, but not only for that act alone. He is what not, other? and she just like she she goes to say she like he is not evil. I don't believe he is in any way evil. However, misguided and power hungry, perhaps. Not evil. He stole my family away from me. She kind of looks up at you and she goes, "What do you mean, Lord Eric?" I think she'd actually say Lord Rainwood. He's taken my sisters to Omen. Why would they be taken? I don't know, but he invited me over. He invited you? She seems a bit confused. He left a magical message at my old estate place. Your old estate? I don't think yes. I, 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 I think if she says that, Crumbar just laughs a wee bit and goes, Oh, this will be good. <laughs> and I think she looks between both of you like, What am I missing? I may have accidentally moved my entire estate north of Glitterhagen. I hate it when that happens, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, right? It happens all the time. And then she's, she's kind of like, she goes to laugh but stops herself just before it happens and she says I'm rather impressed I didn't think you had that level of skill I just so grabbed me <laughs> <laughs> I assume this wasn't deliberate from your tone I grab my hammer and shake it and go nope <laughs> ah the artifact yes the 
troublesome artifact. Yes. So this was not intentional, moving your estate. No. Oh God. The, the reason why is because there's a, there was a woman called Takana, who came with us, and then she teleported away. She's not who she says she was. So I panicked and thought about my family, tried to teleport to my estate and brought it to me instead. It seems like you're... Again, last. <laughs> it seems like your hammer, as it were, is tied to your emotional state. I would be very careful with an artifact that can read me. You're very like, serious tone to her voice. Yes, I am concerned about it. As for your family, it would appear then that my father saved them from what seems like an unwanted disaster. I don't know when he took them, but he yeah, he left took them when we was out. He left a message and invitation for you to go to them. No? I don't know if I want to mention Celestia. <laughs> Is this you out of character or just saying this to just here? Yes, yes, out of character. <laughs> okay. I'm sure we've mentioned Celestia before, have we not? I think, not? You, I think you've mentioned the Hooded Women to her before, yeah, when you were all having like yeah. the small buffet in her house. You just kind of just go around meal to meal with people if you noticed this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure you have mentioned it. If not, though, you just can obviously just bring it up here. I mean, I'm, to, I'm I think you have. Yeah, I think I fuck it. Bring it up and see what happens. I did try to teleport to Omen after I read the message, but I was stopped by. I should like see you before you, even before you get that first, and you say you tried to teleport to Omen. She visibly moves as if. You know, like when someone hears really bad news or if like if somebody in a group starts crying and somebody's entire posture changes because they want to go to comfort them or to take an action of some kind. Like as soon as you say you went to teleport, her entire posture shifts as if Oh dear gods, you know. <laughs> um and then you continue saying I tried to teleport, but I was stopped by the hooded woman Celeste. She told me I would have died if I tried to continue to teleport to Omen. Yes, that was rather foolish of you. Perhaps I was over eager in celebrating your skill. <laughs> Burn! Yep. You. You are lucky this hooded woman is looking out for you. Indeed. Do we know what her agenda is in all of this? Could she be responsible for putting these pieces together? The Red, my father, the Abyss. I don't really know her agenda too well. These guys know it more than I do. Kind of looks over at the group. Well, she tasked us with um, finding the Black Fang Spear, who we believe what who we believe to be Eremos. So I hardly think that they're working together. You mean my father and this hooded woman? Yes. Again, you can see that kind of deep thought creep across her face. And she says, Sadly, we could all be part of my father's game. Um, hmm. Well, hopefully we can put an end to it. She just smiles kind of softly at that, and she says, 
I hope so. Um, da, 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 da. And then, like, I'll go. So, oh, sorry. No, I was gonna say yeah. So, like, I hope so. That's what she says. And then, she like straightens herself up again after the slight shock at Eric almost killing himself, and she says, <laughs> "In our favor, however, I am." so much more in tune since we last met. The effects of closing the direwood hellhole have not only passed but have granted me further insights into my own abilities. I am stronger now than I was before. This will serve us well if more of these and she vaguely waves over her shoulder. More of these decide to open up. If what you say is true, these seem to be portals into our world from theirs. This could be an invasion. Do you know exactly where or what their world is? Hell. She just kind of leaves it there. <laughs> Mm, that's never a word I want to hear. No. Well, we were right then with our assumptions of mm. being hell holes. I just know it's kind of solemn like that. I think it closes her eyes once and kind of like bows her head. And then, um, just have you any further information I should know of before we close this? Not information per se, but would I be able to learn how to do this so we don't have to call upon you every time, or...? And then... Can you roll insight for me? Okay. Yep. Uh, oh, normal insight. Cool. You... You're aware enough that there was a reaction. You just don't know if it's her, like, gritting her teeth for what she's about to do, or if she didn't like what you said. Mm. Right? It's that kind of ambiguity there where it's like, she's going to be busy, this is going to take a lot out of her, and then you're asking more of her, so you don't know if it's annoyance at that, or something else. Right? Um, but there's the slightest thing that you just catch and no more with her. And then she says... Unfortunately, what this takes out of me, I would not wish upon anyone. Oh. She kind of just looks at you as if she's kind of like taking all of you in, as if she's still waiting to see if she's made the right call or not. And she says, I can tell you have some arcane skill, but I fear... Lovering. Yeah, and like, you smile at that and then... She she kind of like returns the smile of her soul kind of briefly and then she says however I feel like I would be throwing a match into a bonfire as it were fair enough I mean are we able at least to lend you some of our strength so it doesn't take as much out of you or I don't know or could Lord Derek say hammer could that it take some of it? And she kind of like turns and kind of looks at everyone and she says, I appreciate the offer of assistance. I personally would not use the artifact. It is Lord Rainwood's and I fear based on what he's told me so far of its capabilities and unpredictability that a portal creating hammer used to siphon off the energies of a portal from hell could prove incredibly dangerous. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. We've had worse. We might have dropped on us. We we might absorb the hell hole into the hammer and then I get to teleport and boom, hell hole. Or indeed the portal permanent links to your artifact and can go wherever it wants without the need to push through these pressure points as it were. 
Oh, I don't want to teleport to hell. Nor do I wish to teleport hell here. Oh yeah. She kind of just like nods delicately. Her big kind of like teal coloured golden trimmed robes kind of turn on the spot and she walks towards the the fire a bit closer. She at like, the front of the altar now and then you can clearly see that she rubs her hand across the stone of the altar. It, says, it seems like these have all been created through great sacrifice. Have you witnessed anything else of this kind? Well, there was a lot of bones at one of the other sites. I think, was it the first one we was at? That hey, we both. saw the red road dude. Both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was like blood sacrifices. I'm not entirely uh, sure if they were willing, but... They also appeared to be orc bones. Yeah. More of your people? And she looks kind of concerned at you, Crumber. I don't want to know the answer to that. I'm honestly not sure if I would wish to know either if I were you. She has that kind of look of concern over her face. Mm. Like, she definitely feels sorry for what you've had to go through, given that what you've just said is, yes, that was my tribe, they were all shit, now I'm here, <laughs> they're not here anymore, and these are still a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> it's almost like she gets that, you know. She says, "Is there um, anything else that we perhaps haven't considered?" Perhaps we're one... and she says, "Like mm -hmm. perhaps we're going about this the wrong way." Perhaps instead of closing these, we should be trying to reverse them. And go uh, to uh, hell, or...? Yeah, could just look. Like... Uh, could you not maybe stick two together? So that it's like a U-turn? <laughs> <laughs> From what my studies of the Direwood Hellhole have revealed, they are one way. Yes. Oh, one way, one, uh, then back into the one way, they're going the other way. Oh. She laughs <laughs> very briefly mm. and she says, yeah. We would have to reverse one for that to work. Mm. As if her telling you, This is my plan. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, right. putting sure. two, two outs mm. don't work when you click them together. <laughs> you didn't out and yeah. in. <laughs> Like twice, you're in a really messed up situation. <laughs> um, I'll just say to her as well, like, is your plan to go through one of these portals? Something must be creating them on the other side, pushing through to this side. Could something not be creating them at this side? Indeed, and I believe you're red-robed servant of the red perhaps is this pinprick <laughs> well he is a prick <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just say is um, something you should know about him we I thought we fought him uh, at the Ark tribe uh, uh, the Ark tribe's encampment I thought we'd killed him, but he appeared to reanimate. Yeah, he didn't quite get his face back, though. And she kind of like turns on the spot, and her robes all kind of like twist up her frame a little bit. And she says, Can you describe this in more detail, please? It could be yeah. very important. It was just like a skull, wasn't it? With uh, red yeah. glowing eyes? I mean, going off the picture Ryan gave, it was more like, um, remember Spawn? No. Yeah, he looked like Spawn. <laughs> um, so he did still have, he did still have his skin on him. Um, it was just as if he was weathered and burnt away. Ah, that was it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just I'll say, um, well, when we the. Uh, you know, and like, kind of, you can see that he's saying this all in a kind of like way where he knows it's like almost like sarcastic. Mm -hmm. 
like kind of when we defeated him, uh, it was because Arya used a fireball explosion thing, <laughs> and I just kind of glance at Arya at that at, at that point. Yeah, and I think he just heard your story of kind of mutter the word. It's like unusual for a druid. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, when he uh, that we, that was what we believed to finish him off, but his body just kind of reanimated, and his appearance had changed much. So his skin appeared, in, uh, blah, blah, his skin appeared incinerated. And he managed to, uh, yeah, his his skin appeared incinerated, almost decaying, and his body had morphed slightly. His fingers became longer, and I mean, albeit his robes were still mostly intact. Not pulling a uh, Eric stunt then. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. I'm not actually surprised you're fully really close right now. Um, just half oh, is it? halfway through uh, the conversation, uh, just taking off the robes. Well, here we go. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't even need to take them off. They just like vanish. <laughs> it's that bristle mighty scene, isn't it? When he just like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so she she looks very disturbed by this information, like. She's isn't not quite able to poker face any of this. She looks mm. very disturbed by it. Are you saying that you've seen someone come back from death? Um, essentially. This is very yeah. dangerous. If death is no longer the end. And she kind of like looks at everyone with like a really serious look on her face. Like, do you get what I mean by that? Mm-hmm. We're going to get a whole lot busier down here. Yeah. That's... Yes. I think it's best we close this one. And perhaps if we have more time at our disposal, we could attempt reversing one and she kind of gestures to your reach I would say though if we are to reverse one I'm only doing this if you are willing to go inside I'll follow you just <laughs> I don't think she wants to go in <laughs> I would need to rest before we go inside and then she, th- she smiles at you Crumbar, when you say that to her, and then when Eric says, you obviously need to rest before going inside, she says, I don't know if it would be wise to take your artifact with you. If that got in the wrong hands by something below. She just has a kind of passive face when she says that, like a tight-lipped face. Unless Lord Eric's going into the removal business, that might be in the wrong hands already. But you know, uh, she's not saying that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But then, to be fair, she's had her eyes on this since, like, when they first met. So yeah. like, when they were having like that that meeting Nobody together, got a spell of invisibility or something that we could cast on it or something. Mm. Yeah. The only problem is though, if things see through other ways, right? Like just sensing magic, the ability to find it, you know. Also, Eric kind of is a beacon of magic, so that's a problem. Like, put like a damp blanket over him. But, um, yeah, apparently I leak magic. Yeah, well, according to the druid, right? <laughs> according to the druid. But yeah, she says, I think I'll need to look into this matter further if things aren't staying dead. This could be dark days ahead. Please, some room. And she kind of like motions with her hands, to like, do you guys go away? Like, 
go further away from it. I kind of back up a bit and uh, just kind of pull out my axe, like like ready my axe up as well. Yeah. Just in case. That makes sense, right? And then she kind of like turns, looks back at the uh, giant fiery wall that it is, and you kind of just see her put her hands out to the sides. Lots of her kind of cyan, blue, and kind of purple magics all start to like form around her and then they all almost like magical chains f throw themselves into the, the like fiery wall and then the wall turns green like massive green flames and then they all seem to be feeding down the chains into her as all this kind of green magic spirals around her and like seeps into like her mouth and her eyes and she like has her head tilted back and she's slowly wreathed in green flame Kind of Maleficent-esque, actually, to be honest. It's probably a good visual. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that happens. Have you guys got up to while that goes on? Because that takes um, some time. I just kind of, you know, stay watching and making, like, keeping an eye in case anything comes out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's mostly just, it seems like the fire is obviously like fighting against, you know, like a bonfire to fight against wind. And mm. then, as I said, a lot of it's just being siphoned down these chains that she's kind of like magically thrown into the fire. As if, as I said, they're feeding off of it. And yeah, she just seems to be... magical chain. She seems to be like wincing at this, because it does not seem painless, put it that way. The roar of the fire being kind of like pulled into her is the only thing kind of deafening the fact that she's probably screaming. Mm. Yeah. We should probably check to see if the Royal Knights leader, the Royal Army's leader, is coming back. She didn't give us the most subtle entrance at all. Of all. <laughs> yeah, I try and connect with Burb. Yeah, do you want to just roll a d20 for me? Uh... It's not back yet. Like, it's okay. still beyond your ability to connect with it. And, uh, yeah. And obviously Arya's waiting on Aruya. Now, Yours went after the trio, right, Kitleth? Mm -hmm. Like Alako, Alako, like yeah. Alako went after the trio, and it was Ruya that went after the Royal Army. Cool. So yeah, at some point you'll obviously feel the ability to connect to Alako again. Spider senses. Yeah. Then you know you come back and it's covered in spiders, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> but um, <laughs> what about? Everybody else, reach Grumbar, Eric, anything specific you just want to do? Because, yeah, like, you could easily say, like, 15 minutes has already passed. Mm. Yeah, no, really. Again, I think I'd just kind of still just keep standing guard and mm -hmm. still probably be a wee bit and still just in awe of what is happening. Yeah, like, you can clearly tell that she's had time to like adjust how she's mm. doing this because obviously the first time she pretty much just stood there and just like drank it all in right and did it very very quickly and it kind of fucked her up right um, mm. for quite a long period of time to be honest because you don't know at what point during that five week period she got better mm -hmm. so you don't really want this to be on like a five week cooldown do you <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to ask her about that. No, and, um, yeah. So she's yeah, obviously... I'm probably 11 hour up every time she does. <laughs> so she's the strongest wizard ever. <laughs> I obviously. mean, she did say before, obviously, like, based on what she's yeah. done, right, she's had time to, like, think about that. And obviously she's got a different method of trying to drain it now with her weird magical chains. So clearly she's thought of new stuff, right? Because, um, uh -huh. yeah. you know... Daughter. In our list. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but she's a sorceress, remember, so she is magic. She's a conduit yeah, for yeah. it, as opposed to a wizard, like her dad. Yeah. <laughs> it's not clever, she's just talented. Yeah, 
raw talent, you know. Didn't have to read a book in her life. <laughs> Last time she touched a book, it screamed and the entire building she magically controls turned to dark and then hands crawled everywhere, so she's not really big on touching books, you know? No. No. Not when they touch back. Creepy books. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, so like uh, easily like another 45 minutes pass. MDL Stone anything. Uh, by this point, Alico will come back. Um, and like you get that kind of feeling, you can then like jump to Alico's senses if you want, and you just get like the bird's eye view of the thing flying back towards you. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't take long because it's all like its flying speed versus the hundred foot range you've got on your thing isn't too bad. So like mm. a couple of rounds later, and the thing's back with you. So either you stick with it while it lands in on you, or you can just warg back to yourself and allow Alico to come back. Yeah, I'll do that. But yeah, the the trio just continued on their path. Did they even notice the rainbow? That like the bird pretty much just says they haven't flinched from their path, essentially. That's okay. good with me then. What was that, Scott? I'm like, that's good with me then. Yeah, like almost as if they didn't notice it, right? Mm. Um, yeah, if you're like saying like almost 45 minutes have passed, I'll just kind of. Well, it's an hour now. It's been like yeah, 15 minutes. You just thought about sending the like checking on the bird, and then mm. 45 minutes later, after that, like the birds come back. So, yeah, it's been an hour. I think I'd just at this point, I'd just you know, the chairs that are there, I'd just kind of. <laughs> Take a seat in one of them and just kind of hang fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I like the idea that maybe it starts off with you like kind of standing not as far back as you maybe should have, and then you're standing mm -hmm. there with your axe in your hand ready, and then eventually it's the axe is over the shoulder, and then eventually mm -hmm. you're leaning on the axe, and then you just you're sat in the chair. So yeah. like passed out, snoring, <laughs> head back, like about to fall off the chair. <laughs> Yeah, and it probably is getting darker, right? Um, in fact, how long has it been? This was what? You didn't do a rest, you just landed here at some point during the day. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it is getting dark. I don't remember what time we're on, so... Does anybody remember what time we should be on? I mean, we. I feel like we sat down to have tea. Yeah. And that would have indicated to me, like, Evening. five, six yeah. o'clock evening time. Yeah, so yeah, it'd probably be dark by now, so maybe just like... It's turning dark, yeah, maybe that's what kind of... You know, the, the, as as funny as it might sound, they'll just like maybe make up a wee campfire as... And, uh, yeah. I think you used to have a campfire, right? I'm sure you started building a camp. Um, yeah, you had to have a fire to have some food. Um, yeah, it was just in case that one had went out. And, um... I imagine somebody's probably been stoking the fire just while um, the giant inferno mm -hmm. seems to be draining into uh, just area. But yeah, mm -hmm. like, it's, if nothing's happening as well, it's an hour and a half now. Yeah, I didn't take this. Like, I'll just kind of, like, say to, like, reach and be like, should we be worried it didn't take this long last time? But last time she rushed it. So maybe this time is how, you know. Just maybe control on the floor better. Yeah. yeah. Like, don't wreck herself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It turns out she checked herself. <laughs> uh, uh, funny man. Thank you. Um, I'll just say, well, can I examine Justoria to see how she's coping? Um. That's an interesting question. By just looking at her, or like what, yeah, like yeah, what like, are you basing Crumbar's ability to gauge how she's doing? Because currently she's wreathing green fire that's coming from a portal from hell, and she is screaming. basically <laughs> yeah. I she's probably feel better. Yeah, I'd say so. Right. Okay. Like, see right, the ten so seconds before right. she started this, she was way mm -hmm. better. <laughs> yeah. So she's so she's still screaming and stuff. But like again, that, you okay. still can't hear that from the roar of the fire. Right, um, I really don't know what to do here, guys. Yeah, right. 
with it. So it's time for, to sleep, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Doing guard. <laughs> Get that long lie in there. And afterwards. you probably find that the, the lighting conditions are all that kind of bathed in green, flickering, dancing lights mm. all over the place because of the giant. Like the entire inter- inferno is no longer like that orange flame, it's all green now. Nice, relaxing green. Yeah. Yeah. That's... yeah. Not too hard on the eyes for sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's all right. But what if it was blue light? No, because I keep you awake. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so it's up to you guys how long you want to wait. But yeah, I'd say it's been easier than an hour and a half by this point. Well, we could all do our rest anyway. I say we do have a long rest and set up guard, obviously, so someone's watching her. Yeah. yeah. Or someone's watching full stop. Why yeah, not? just obviously have a watch order. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's everybody else's thoughts on that? Yeah, nay, maybe. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Okay, who wants I to be on watch? watch? Oh, there we I'll go. Start. Perfect. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, now you just have to fight to the death. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, That'll be last watch. Right, okay, cool. So here we be last watch. Um, who wants to be first watch? I will. Cool. Right, so you all start your long rest, but you don't get to complete it before the end of Kitty's watch. So let's see, it's all take like two hours of watch time uh, from now. So another two hours later and as Kitty's maybe about to wake up whoever's next is probably Crumbar who's next in the, or- the watch order. I think maybe as you start to wake him up um, the entire fire just vanishes like with a kind of almost like air filling a vacuum type thing. Um, and Ooh. obviously everything's dark again even to the point where your campfire goes out because of the the whoosh and uh, she collapses I'll, like, rush I'll, over ru- I'll rush over to her and uh, I won't grab her straight away but I'll just say to her, like, just story are you okay so you let her hit the deck first, then you ask her. <laughs> to be fair, you yeah. are quite a bit away. Like he's, he's, yeah. <laughs> she will definitely hit the ground before MD could reach her, um, barring teleporting. Now, the... Which maybe isn't recommended after portals. Um, who gets to her first? It's probably Kitty, right? Because Kitty is fastest, unless Kitty didn't instinctively run to her. Oh, no, I would have... Yeah, I was going to say, like, she, she she's had your back in the past, do you know what I mean? She's realigned your yeah. back in the past, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, do you know what I was thinking? Also, just a small aside here, uh, Sophie, the Yennefer mm-hmm. rebirth scene is exactly what I had in mind for how painful <laughs> it would have looked yeah. or felt. Yeah, horrible. Ow. Yeah. I mean, keep in mind, Kitty probably got off lighter because all of Kitty was ripped apart in one magical go and then rebuilt. So, yeah, horrible. But anyway, so you run over first, and Crumbar's only like a couple of seconds, if that, behind you. Um, What's lying kind of wrapped in these kind of like, again, hard to tell colour of robes because of the nighttime and the the black and white vision you both have? Um, Doesn't look human anymore. What? What does it look like? What the heck was that? Yeah. Let me um, see if I've got an image handy that I can show you, which hopefully I will have. Okay, people are apparently setting off fireworks. Okay. Let's go punch them. Yeah, I just heard some fireworks and fuck. Isn't it celebrate the worst choices day? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. The end of freedom. But yeah. yeah. And this is how virus. democracy dies. With thunderous applause. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, fireworks. <laughs> yeah. That's my nice little uh, Star Wars reference. It's not a V for Vendetta, which is also from somewhere else then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's um just Natalie Portman though, right? So or was it Kira Knightley that was in um No, Natalie. Natalie? Oh. Yeah. I actually always mix them up and I feel bad every time I do but then I don't terrible. know them any. Yeah. like I don't know any of them personally so you know it's I mean but if they wanted to guest star in one of these <laughs> RP sessions they're more than welcome to you'll learn who's who then will you <laughs> no, I'll just have both of them on <laughs> it's fine I'll make them have similar characters so that when they say Natalie or Kira 
it doesn't matter which one's actually answering. You call the other one's character that, so that way when you say Kira, <laughs> they both look at you. Yeah, Natalie, you're playing Kira, and Kira, you're playing Natalie. God, that would be so confusing, and it just would not help no. at all. Oh, dear. I, I'm actually struggling to find this image that I was um, apparently meant to have. Um, give me two seconds to go steal it from another document, then. Because I know it's in another document. Right. Where is that gone? The joy of having 19 folders for the same world, but different games. Um, Rip. <laughs> honestly. Uh, right, so it's on this one, it's in miscellaneous, and then it's on the NPC list. Um, so I can describe, but obviously while I'm looking for this image, you just get closer and the figure seems elongated. Um, like knees have been bent backwards from like beneath the kind of ropes. Um, the arms seem like they're like bladed wings. Um, the head itself doesn't really have the normal features of a face. That's uh. So this is meant to be just Aria. Um, yeah. That was just a. Right, let well. Me, let me share the full image here. I've got it finally. There you go. I'll dump this in the chat for you. Is it gonna paste? There we go. Should you gonna paste something else as well? Should do. What in the fucking's a Draco? Hmm? Huh. It looks like Lilith. Kept so. her figure though. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's obviously enrobed with her fanciness um, on the ground with like kind of green pulsing energy kind of dissipating. Shit. Yeah. Just, I just kind of approach with Act by side, mm. being like, just Storia, is this you? I mean, it's completely unconscious. <laughs> Nudge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I lean down and kind of shake it. Yeah. And as you touch it as well, there is like quite clearly. Um, no, like when you touch the front of a TV screen that's got like that staticky feeling. Um, there's that kind of like thrum of magic. Or like um, when you touch a plasma globe. Yeah. And um, there's that effect with like the kind of the green flickerings. Um, the longer you leave your hand there, the more numb it starts to feel. Huh. I'll just pull it off. So what do you do? You said only to awake just now. I go wake the others up. <laughs> so just <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. as she walks away. Um. Da, 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 not you. Da, 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 no 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 no. No, 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 no. Just slowly mutter to yourself, yeah. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Um, Cause I think I know what you're thinking, but I want to know if yeah. you, you're thinking what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. um, as she's kind of walking away, um, and I've got a bit of silence around me, um, my senses just sharpen, and um, oh crap, use that. That's exactly what I thought you were going to do. Yep, good man. <laughs> so as an action, you can open your awareness to detect such forces. Until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any celestial, fiend, or undead within 60 feet of you that is not behind total cover. You know the type, blah blah blah, any, uh, of any being you sense, but not its identity. So, yeah. Um, the... Like a tuning to your divine sense, like kind of like kicking it into gear, um, mm. you get the equivalent of like an instant migraine that you never had before. Like when you use this, there's maybe that slight kind of adjustment, you know, when you walk out into like a noisy room or like a bright room, and like your mm. senses have to adjust, or when there's a strong smell or something, and you're like, okay, I need to reset all the dials so that this becomes normal. 
that's normal for the divine sense, but in this case it's like a migraine that keeps gripping you. Um, and yeah, she just irradiates fiend energy. Oh no. Have we just made Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Politically <laughs> proximate. So the Kitty, you head over. Who are you waking up first, Reach or Eric? Uh, Reach. Cool. Um, so you start to wake Reach up. I don't know if Reach has any reactions when he wakes up, like punching the thing that tries I'm to wake thinking, him up. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> and um, like, cause it's dark and cold as well. Remember, because the the fire's gone out. Um, and then obviously, like, I don't know if you're waking him up and talking to him before you wake up, Eric, or are you waking up, Eric, just after him? Uh, I'd sort of wake one up and then go wake the other and when they're both awake tell them shit's gone down. <laughs> yeah, and like by the time it takes you to do that, I Crumbar, as you're looking at like what was just Storia, right? Um it's it starts to change. Like it starts to like become less demonic looking, right? And on the ground by the time they get up, it's Back to looking like Justoria. Hmm. And is it is she conscious or nope? And no longer irradiates fiend energy, or emits fiend energy. Irradiates is a weird word. So yeah, the, nah. the, the, they've woke up. What's any. um Ryan? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> That was a, we've not had a long rest yet, have we? Nope. It's not finished nope. yet. Um, okay, in that case... Don't I it. shall <laughs> you... Oh, tr trust me, mate. See if she didn't just shift back. I was going to. Like, Can you imagine complete... the Wizard King's face? You killed my daughter? Like, completely oh. would have disregarded anything what anyone else would have said and just straight up went for the head chop. Um, right I will use a potion on her um, yep that um, well mm -hmm. yeah I'll use I'll use a healing potion on her a Gestoria Restoria Nah, I don't have one of them That's anymore. Cool <laughs> I, I think I'm still the only one that's used that, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't think Adri used hers either. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. I don't think yeah. so. I think you're the only one. So. And um, yeah, so you use a healing potion on her. And... Mm -hmm. uh, well, I just did a dice roll for it. Yeah, why not? Just so it's in chat. And it's fun to roll dice, right? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. I thought that's that a good actually... Roll as well. It fucking really was. Um, no, sorry, for, I thought that came up that I'd rolled up for a potion, but uh, either way. No, that's good. That's fine. Um, yeah, so like you just kind of like pour that into her mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, I mean, consent, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Paladins, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, like, as you're kind of like doing that, like, do you guys, like, what what is it, Kate? Kitlith says to the group that you've just woke up. Uh, you guys might want to come over and see this. See what I can't see. Uh, well, <laughs> sucks to be you. And you all have torches, and you all can, like you can actually just make light with your I magic. I don't have a torch. But you can make light with your magic. <laughs> You've got, I mean, it's true. You've got dancing lights. You could literally just like make little storm clouds around you, or one. I'll make one big one in my hand and walk. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you get some kind of nice bluish light. Um, good for keeping awake, of course. And uh, yeah, you just head over to Crumbar, who's crouched over the body. Uh, by, the time you's, by the time you all get there, yeah, it's like Crumbar just feeding just Doria Ball. <laughs> she is alive, I presume. Yeah. Mm, that wasn't what she looked like a minute ago. <laughs> right, was she wreathed in green flames still? Um, 
she didn't quite look like herself. Understatement. <laughs> I just, I, 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 is, is when she says that, I just kind of snap up to say she she had transformed into a demon. That's true, you come back. You can't say that about people. <laughs> you can call him Drowse, though. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. yeah I think you hear like the, I, I think the si like the silence of like you guys just looking at each other in the dark or in, with this blue light. She just starts coughing, and your arms come her. She's alive! Yay! <laughs> I just kind of snap back and just story. How are you? Like, are you okay? And she's still kind of coughing, a bit more and more, and I. Uh, she kind of um, like taps you on your chest as if like give her some space. I just yeah, I'll give her some space. Like as you go to like stand up, she like holds on to like your um, like your forearm, I guess, and like uses that to kind of hoist herself up. Mm. And yeah, she um, kind of just stands, kind of like clutching at herself a little, and she says. It seems I still have many adjustments to make to this process. It also seems you have some explaining to do. And she kind of just looks up at you confused. What do you mean? Your body just there. It was that of a fiend. Ah, yes. And you can see this is cl like clearly painful for her. Um, did you think there wasn't a cost to this, Paladin? Crumbar right now is very, very fucking conflicted. And I think you could see that across his face. Mm -hmm. Just because it's like, on one hand, Justoria is somebody that... Crumbar especially really respects and likes mm -hmm. and I've literally just seen him yeah, seen him seen her uh literally be the one thing Crumbar wants to destroy. Yeah, but you've so, also asked her twice to like soak up demon energy. Yeah. So I um mean... <laughs> Yeah, so it's uh Hmm. Did you know of this cost? And she kind of looks at you. And you can see, obviously, like the, the slight blue light reflecting in her eyes because of right. Well, well, oh, right. Okay, I think it would be better if I explain what's going through my train of thought than I actually. I mean, you can't, so, you want, yeah. She was going on about how hard. The Wizard King, who is her dad, mm -hmm. will ha is basically, we're all playing into his game, where possibly it's him who's summoned these portals. Meaning, he would have some connection to hell and the demons and all that. What, Crumbar's thought is, what if his daughter is actually a demon? Right. And, the fa and she's just had to, and because she re kind of connected with a portal it actually showed her true self and that the just story that we know she is just a kind of disguise so that it doesn't scare people who's just always bother maybe that's a demon exactly right right but yeah so that that's kind of what my thought process is or crumbar's thought process mm -hmm. is um, so yeah, I'll just um, ask you know ask. It's like, did you know that this would the this would be a cost to you? She kind of looks at you like again with that the blue light of Eric, say the small storm, like in her eyes, and she's just kind of staring back at you. And normally she'd have answered by now, but it's like a couple of seconds delay, as if again she's in pain, and she says. 
The portal has been closed. It was not an easy task, and I am doing my best to filter out the demonic energies used to open these. You summoned me here to do this. She sounds very defensive. Mm -hmm. um. I'm really at a loss mm. at what to do, really, because it's like yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm more trying to pick, pick my words really carefully next, um, because obviously I don't want to get in a blood war with, her, because I still, I still, you know, heart down, I still trust her. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to know if there's a truth that she's not. I mean, you could always roll, you could roll insight, right, to see, to kind of get an impression from her, right? Okay, let's like, let's let's do that, and I'll and I'll see what we get from that. Fucking yowdy. Yeah. So, you don't get the impression she's trying to mislead you in any way. I think. On that, I would. Crumbar would uh, kind of relax a wee bit and be like. Um, and I would just say to her, it's like. You know, it's like. I'm. I've only got. I'm not uh, trying to. I. I didn't mean any offence. I just want to ensure your safety. Did you know that this would have happened? Everything has a cost. And she looks at your axe and looks back at you. And you know what she's trying to say. But does Scott know what she's trying to say? <laughs> so I was just thinking. Yeah, well, I know, I know that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, the 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 price to your life to do that. Yeah. No, if you I want think, to get rid of just stories, now's the time. In other words, she's saying. Uh, that, <laughs> Maybe that's um, what Stuart's taken from this scene. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think if she's done that, I actually drop my axe. Mm -hmm. There's that kind of oh shit, and just kind of like drop it. Uh, yeah, because you're kind of not much better than her at this point, are you? Mm -hmm. Not really. Um... <laughs> yeah, and I think with that as well, um, like she kind of probably falls to her knees again, like just because she's I'll, not I'll, like strong enough to hold herself up. I'll rush over to her and, um, like instinctfully, I think this is what would happen. I would run over to her. Um, my hand would start glowing, but it would, uh, like, almost like, you know, like a dying light bulb. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, there. so it's like I'd run over, like I'd, I'd so try. Yeah, you would try and like her. use your divine energies to heal her, but yeah. yeah so like I'm, I'm, I'd like I try and use Leon hands, but I. I literally it's spent so I'm like I'm trying to use something that I just have not, like there's mm -hmm. there's nothing on reserve and you just shoot, and I'm just like fuck yeah well does everybody else do it this scene because obviously there's been a quite a tense exchange and you guys have seen Crumbar question people before remember when Arya was a bit suspect and Crumbar was ready to attack and then remember that time where Crumbar did actually attack Arya in the air uh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're on about. Um, and then obviously he's been quite standoffish with her. You've have been told she looked different from what she looks like now. Obviously Kitlith has seen it. Um, but then after the heated exchange she just kind of obviously goes to her aid. So yeah, what is everybody else's like thought process right now? Eric, reach. 
Yeah, there's honestly nothing we can do, so we as well just carry on and uh, try to help the great gold worm uh, at the moment. Yeah, try to get her full rest sorted and then go back to the Citadel and see if we could offer any aid. Okay, Sounds like a good yeah. idea. And then. Um... Remember what you're doing with your story? Well, we can't just leave her here, so. Oh no. I just sit her down, it's... everybody takes a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a <in> watch. <laughs> no, like, I totally, totally agree that once we kind of see to Gestoria, we, we should go and um, join the. Uh, the. 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 I Enterprise. forgot word. I kept wanting to say the Empire, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, because that would be more like the the Wizard King, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, so... Can I just try and help Justoria back up now? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, She definitely seems kind of out of it, to be honest. Um, I'll just kind of say to her, I'm like, are you safe to travel? And then, what's everybody else doing? Is everybody else like going back to like set the camp back up? I guess because obviously, yes, yeah. We don't mind finishing our sleep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Actually, the portal's closed. Mm -hmm. Right, let's have a fucking nap. So, <laughs> yeah, like maybe it's Crumbar that helps her up as everybody else goes back to the. You know, yeah, okay, scrap, scrap. Yeah, you know, scrap bear with me. Just stop. Sorry. So, the three others, obviously, because mm -hmm. Arya just slept through all this somehow. Um, you just head back, set up the camp and stuff again, and then restart your watch order. Um, Crumber, obviously, you start to help just store it up. Mm -hmm. um, and you ask her if she can travel. And then, like, as you're kind of standing back up with her, she says, I understand your concerns. I would have the same concerns. However, if this is indeed some collusion between the Red and my father, the power I am gaining will help us defeat them if we get to that stage. Hopefully she's referring to us and not her precious. Mm. Right. Yes. Um, well, but that's all to come, Bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say to it's like, like I, I trust you. It's like I do trust you, and um, I know you will. Ha I um, I know your intent. Like I'm like I can understand the goal that you want to achieve. I just need to know one thing. Are you bef were you a demon before, or is this just a recent thing with this portal? She like kind of laughs, but like coughs into the laugh because it's sore, and she mm -hmm. like clutches her side, and it, like the strength in her kind of like dips her feet a bit, and you're like you feel her weight again as you're holding her up, and she's mm -hmm. like, "I was never a demon, Crumbar. What makes you think I am one now?" Horns, backward bending mm -hmm. legs, okay. mm -hmm. wings. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, just story, if you could just check out the Discord chat, uh, you'll see why we <laughs> think that you're yeah. a demon. <laughs> um, it's a couple of heads if you look closely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are your I'll eyes, just, woman? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just say to her, I'm like, like, I. I hope you can just understand why I would be concerned of such things. We should all be very concerned with things that are transpiring. This is at least in the efforts of the good. She kind of just nods at you. Mm -hmm. I'll just say, let's get you to a tent. You need rest. She just kind of laughs and kind of coughs a bit more. 
and she says, if only the world had more of you in it, I would Aww. sleep easier at night. I definitely think she's, yeah, we need to find a yeah, new she's person had a to bump help us here. Hey, fuck you, Crumbar's awesome. <laughs> You're making... I'll, like, I, I'll, I'll just say to her after that then, like, if that's the case, I'll take first watch. So, uh, I'm sure it was your turn anyway. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, so like you offer, didn't know that. <laughs> so like, do you offer her like your bedroll or whatever then? Yeah, yeah, I'll be like, yo, here, here's a little mattress and a pillow and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. It might not be what you're used to in the, you know, the royal oh, place. But... Yeah. <laughs> and um, like, do you say that to her, Kitty? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I, I see like Crumbar's offering her his bedroll, and I'm just like, yeah, you've. Probably not the worst thing, but like you've definitely had better. <laughs> and she kind of like smirks and she says, "This takes me back to my my youth, when I was first practicing with my abilities. My father sent me to the desert for a month." Damn! Your father is an asshole. And uh, she says, "So it's quite." Quite nostalgic for me, actually. She says through like pained expressions, <laughs> <laughs> which is probably the the most polite she can manage, right? Where she's, yeah, my bed is made of magical silk, and this is a, you know, a rolled up mat that is usually strapped. Don't ask what those yeah. stains are. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she's not going to magically UV light it anyway. That's for sure. <laughs> and Jackson Pollock all up in this bitch. So um, <laughs> yeah. She, she kind of chaos, right? She's had a tough day. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd kind of be expect her to, you know? Yeah, she, she chaos. Um, what does everybody else do? Because, yeah, for lack of a better term, you could probably hear her breathing and whatnot. She doesn't quite snore, but, um, yeah, unless she's an amazing performer, she's KO'd. So you could all have a, a chat if you wanted to, or you could um, just stuck into your long rest. I, I think we all need a rest. Yep, I do. Yeah, definitely. Just rest as well. <laughs> uh, cool, yeah. Uh, you can long rest up and as you long rest, why don't we just take our break here and come back at nine? Yeah? Yep. Sounds yep. good. To Sounds me. good cool. to See me. everybody good. in part two then. Make sure your long rest is updated for then. Bye. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.